Hey everyone, welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're here to do your 2021 relationship forecast. All right, so this is for if you are in a current relationship, if you are single and looking for new love, please go and check out the singles readings. All right, so this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome as well if you're checking on your significant other's uh, reading. And this is a general and intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate for every single person. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. These energies are good for all of 2021. So whenever you happen to see this reading throughout the year, the messages will still be valid for you. So let's see where we go. Messages for Gemini 2021 what do they need to need to what do they need to know about their relationship 2021 Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus please thank you so we have deep knowing and then we have breathe and then we have happy happy in the protection position so, I will read that one for you from the book, all right, because it looks like, it looks here as though you might be in a, you might be in a deep, soulful, spiritual relationship, um, but I feel a little bit of stress here, so let me just read this one. So 26, 26, because it, it looks like here, it looks like the person that you're, you're with, you know, deep down and you know, intuitively that you have an incredible connection with this person. All right. And I get the feeling here that you, you or them want to charge forward, uh, really quickly. Um, but you need to slow down a little bit um, because they might not be quite where you are, okay? Uh, you might you might have a, um, uh, a bit more of a spiritual vibe about you, okay? And they it feels like they need time to catch up, all right? So try not to push the issue. Um, but let's have a look and see what happy happy is in the protection message. All right. Lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly. See the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously. Have fun, be playful, and make laughter the order of the day. You'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall in place when humor leads the way. Being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker. Life is meant for play as well as work for laughter, as well as tears, for celebration, as well as focus. Spirit wants to sparkle through you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in silly things today. Okay, so <clears throat> so I do get the very distinct impression that, yes, this is a, uh, a guided relationship possibly, all right, or at least you feel that it is anyway, and you might be the one that needs to, that wants to just charge forward and, and have that commitment. And, you know, they're like, no, and you're like, no, I know you're my soulmate or, you know, and, and, but you, you need to just tone it down just a little bit, tone it down a little bit. And as spirit says here, have some fun. Okay. Have some fun with it. Doesn't need to be serious all the time. And now is the time to play. So enjoy each other's company. Try and do something fun. All right, uh, try not to scare them away, <laughs> okay? Um, because again, they might not be quite where you are spiritually, all right? Um, but just don't push the envelope, don't push too hard, and just relax, all right? So let's see what messages come out with tarot. So I'm gonna pull all the cards first, and then I will uh, walk you through them all, okay? So messages for people watching, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What do people need to know the most? 2021, about their relationship, please. All right. So we have 
Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, or sorry, Nine of Wands, <clears throat> Eight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Fool, <laughs> and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Fool, the Fool, by the way, is uh, in the position of advice from Spirit, how to move forward. All right, and um, yeah. <laughs> be silly so okay it's a very complimentary energy with that one all right let's get into it here <clears throat> so the page of swords this represents you okay um i'm gonna pull clarifiers on this because i need to check something but um, just as they're laid out right here, um, there's a situation that you're dealing with in your relationship right now, and you need to focus on reality and not on fantasy. It's like you're, you're not seeing, you're not seeing a, uh, situation the way it actually is. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull some clarifiers on that, but your person is represented with the queen of cups. So this can be male or female. Okay. All of these can be male or female. Um, it's just about the energy, but this is the feminine energy. So they're very solid, very stable, very loving. Um, they also might not, um, necessarily be seeing a situation for exactly what it is. Cause sometimes the queen of cups is an energy of being so focused on emotions and so focused on love that sometimes doesn't necessarily see um, the practicality of a situation, okay? So, um, so it's like both of you might have just that little bit of a challenge there, okay? But they are very loving, very compassionate. There's a lot of love there, all right? Um, now your current connection, okay, so, and this is where I'm going to pull, and this is where I'm going to pull some cards. All right. So I feel some of you might be having some money troubles right now. Okay. Maybe one of you, um, maybe you, okay. Um, one of you could have lost your job. Um, the bills might be mounting up and, um, it's that, it's that energy of, of not having enough. Okay. Um, and it is pentacles. So, um, this is, uh, this is the, uh, lack. All right. This is the energy of lack of not having enough. Um, but also about not seeing the truth of a situation here as well, because, um, it can be an energy of being stubborn and not asking for help or not seeing the opportunities, um, that are available to try and get you out of this situation. And I think this stems from the fact that with this page of swords energy, and this is representing you, sometimes the page of swords can live in a fantasy world a little bit, right? And um, it needs to kind of come back. It needs a bit of a reality check. Okay. So this could be a situation that maybe you're not ready to see. So I am going to pull clarifiers because I just want to check something. So I have the five of wands, the five of pentacles again, and the knight of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I feel, I feel as though some of you, you're, you're arguing about money. There's, there's issues around money here. And I feel that your person is trying to get you to see the reality of the situation. Okay. Um, because this is, in, this is interfering. So, um, 
Yeah. So there's there's a bit of a conflict here, and like not a ma not like not, not like a major one. Like I don't um don't necessarily see like a divorce or anything like that. But um but there is there is bickering and arguing here, and it looks like it is about it is about money, um or it's about someone's needs not being met. Okay, that can also be what that is, right, with that five of pentacles. But it's like someone's left out in the cold. Someone's needs aren't being met, whether it's money, um, whether it's um, things at home, okay? Maybe someone feels like they're being neglected in the relationship and it's causing some tension here, right? It's causing some tension here, but it, what it requires is stability and long-term planning and commitment, okay? So there is all that energy behind there, um, um, but it looks like, it looks like your energy here is just, you're maybe not taking the situation as seriously as you really should. Okay. And, and you're, it's causing, um, it's causing that conflict. Okay. So again, it can be about money. Um, you know, bills mounting up, you know, maybe someone's being frivolous with, uh, with spending money here, um, or, or, or not paying their partner enough attention can also be that because the Queen of Cups is a very loving energy, right? And, you know, someone that, you know, does have that um, deep soul and they could be hurt very, very easily, okay? So I think you're one or both of you. Someone is, you know, they know that this connection is meant to be. Okay, and this it's a spiritual, soulful connection, um, but it's like the tension, there's some tension here. Okay, so let's clarify this Five of Pentacles and see what else this is about. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for me. Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords, yeah. So... <clears throat> So something came, something came to an end, something came to an end here. All right. With this 10 of wands, um, the 10 of wands is about ending. Okay. So, uh, one of two things here, either, either someone lost their job. Okay. Queen of swords can be, can represent, um, you know, someone, um, in charge of your financial situation and that came to an end. Okay. So I think one or both of you may have lost your job. Okay. Um, so that can certainly be what it's about. Um, you're on, you're both under a lot of stress as well. So, um, it feels here that there might be a light at the end of the tunnel, um, because the tough times could be ending. There might be a new offer coming in. Um, someone could be getting a job offer once you, um, that allows you to actually start to rebuild your wealth and rebuild your, your situation there. Okay. So a couple of different energies coming in there with that, um, uh, with that, but, um, so I don't think this is going to last too long. All right. I don't think this is going to last too long. This, uh, this issue, this situation here, because I think there's going to be clarity to that situation, All right? Queen of swords is about clarity, right? And again, the 10 of wands is about endings, and moving on to a new beginning. So I think there's going to be some clarity about that. Um, but it's, it is a, it is a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky energy there. Okay. Um, so someone's not me needs not being wet, whether, whether it's financial or I feel it revolves around your money, your money, your career, your job prospects. Um, but you have a good foundation. So it feels like you may have been together for a long time with this Hierophant here. Okay. Um, cause the Hierophant is typically a marriage card. All right. So, um, this could just be a rocky point in your marriage or again, someone's someone not feeling like their needs are being met. It's kind of a heavy energy, right? Um, but the Hierophant is indicates a very strong foundation. All right. And this is where you've come from. So, um, you have a strong foundation. You don't necessarily have to be married. Okay. But you do have this belief 
that you're meant to be together and you have this um, commitment to each other. So you do have that, you do have that going for you, okay? And, um, and I think maybe, I think maybe your, I feel this, I really feel this revolves around, around you. I'm going to pull the Queen of Cups. Let me clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Ace of Swords, Temperance, and the Three of Cups. All right, so your person, um, your person has ultimate clarity, okay? Your person sees your situation and your relationship for exactly what it is, all right? And they know that there's success and they know that, um, that there's a way to get through uh, your troubled times and they know that there's celebration in your future, okay, and a lot of healing, and, but it requires healing and patience and something needs to be rebalanced. Something needs to get grounded again. All right. So your, your person, your queen of cups here, they know. Okay. So in a way, I actually, I actually think that it's them that knows that, um, the, the deep spiritual connection behind your relationship and you need to get your head out of the clouds here somewhere. You need to come back to earth and deal with reality and deal with the struggles. Okay. Because, um, because your person knows the way out, knows how to move on to something better and into better times. Okay. Um, and they, they feel great about your relationship. Okay. And that they know that there's, um, there's a way forward and that there's an ending. So it feels like that's part of that issue there is that you're not, um, you're not being state, you're not being practical. Okay. You're not being practical. And I think you're arguing about it. And again, I feel for a lot of you, it has to do with money. Okay. Um, so your challenge, right? Your challenge position, we have the nine of wands. Okay. So the relationship is wounded at the moment. Okay. Um, and there is that, there is that struggle, right? So the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior card, and it's also one of needing to have protection, okay? Needing to protect yourself, protect the relationship. All right. Because um, there are some deep wounds here, okay? But they can't, it's not that they can't be overcome, but let's just have a look. Clarify this Nine of Wands. Thank you. Okay, two. King of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the Star. All right. So there's healing required. There's healing required with this relationship. So the King of Swords uh, is about stepping up into power, stepping into authority, but seeing things very clearly. So um, the spiritual connection, the, uh, the soul connection here needs to be repaired. I see some of you requiring man marriage counseling here. Okay with this three of pentacles, but this could also be seeing a financial advisor. All right. Um, this can be seeing that financial advisor and working with them to see your way forward. Okay. And provide the healing that you need with the star energy here. Okay. So, um, so for others, this can be a marriage counselor. It can be a business advisor. All right. This could also be a job offer that comes in right at the last minute. Okay. And that provides it's everything that you hoped for in order to move yourselves forward. All right. So take that as that resonates. All right. But any one of those scenarios is possible for this scenario. Okay. So there's some external influences going on here and we have the eight of swords. So let's just have a look here. Clarify the Eight of Swords for me. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Sun. Okay. So this falls into 
This falls into the external influences category with this here. So, so the Eight of Swords can be about entrapment, okay, uh, feeling trapped, I should say. Um, feeling trapped. So, um, but the Eight of Swords quite often has to be, has to do with being in your own head. So, but because this is in the external influences here, I've clarified it and we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So, it feels like somebody had a direct influence over your financial or your home stability situation here. And it came to, came to an end. All right, that came to... They put an end to something, all right? And now the interesting part is we also have the sun. So I feel for some of you, okay, I feel for some of you a couple of different things here, but I feel for some of you, I feel that this queen of pentacles can be someone that you go and see um, with your person to help bring you out of financial hardship and put an end to that situation allow you to move forward okay and they will break you free from um, feeling like you have no way out okay so this Queen of Pentacles this can represent a family member okay it can represent um, uh, someone in a someone in a financial position such as I mean, it's more feminine energy, but it could be like some of you could be getting um, a loan, okay, um, some sort of business, some sort of loan to help see you through, some short-term loan, all right, something that lets you uh, move forward, okay, and relieve the burdens and the stress, all right. Um, for others of you, this can actually be a job that now that now comes in. It could be a job offer. Someone could come in and say, hey, you're looking for work? Well, hey, I need someone just like you. All right, and that'll bring an end to the hard times and bring about some happiness. Okay, so a couple of different situations there. Um, but there is there is an ending there. There is healing. There is happiness. But this is someone someone comes in and helps you in, in one of those ways. All right, either gives you a loan, gives you a job, um, or this can actually be that financial planner, right, that that shows you the way forward and shows you the path to success and abundance. All right. But I really, I, a huge, strong feeling here that this is about money, right? About money. There's some heavy energies here, heavy, uh, you know, um, some heavy energies, heavy energies here. So, and money of course can be the root of all problems, right? It's, you know, it's hard to be happy and hard to have fun if you're if you're worried about your money all the time and if someone's not taking it as serious as they should. Okay. So this is the year ahead. So we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, the Six of Pentacles is about money. All right, and it's the law of giving and receiving. So you need to uh share ideas. Um you might be asking for a loan with this uh, with this energy here you might need to ask for a loan something to help you see your way forward and to start something new all right we have the three of pentacles again right we had the three of pentacles already um the three of pentacles in this in this position though it's like rebuilding a foundation okay something that allows you to rebuild your foundation so someone might be um learning something new <clears throat> excuse me or again, just getting a new job, getting a new job that allows you to rebuild, regroup, renew, okay, and allow you to move forward, right? Move forward with the Six of Swords energy, move out of rocky times into something better and something lighter and something brighter, okay? Um, that's exactly what that feels like to me. It's like you're not at rock bottom, okay? There are some challenging energies, but there is a way forward and there is a way out. And it feels like someone just needs a bit of a reality check here because your person sees everything clearly and they know how to proceed. Okay. And <clears throat> excuse me. And that's three of cups energy here could be them asking a third party for help. Okay. To help to find your happiness again, to find your celebration so that could be them celebrating 
that they found someone to help you or they found a solution to your problems. All right. Um, so, and again, that allows you to move forward. Okay. Now, your advice from spirit is the fool. All right. Now, the fool is about trust. Um, it's about a leap of faith. Okay. Um, it's also um, it's also an energy of adventure and moving forward, leaving your troubles behind and trusting that spirit has your back and that everything will unfold the way it's meant to. All right. So I feel here your advice from spirit um, is to trust each other. Okay. Trust each other and move forward together. So let's just clarify the fool. Thank you. So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the High Priestess, okay? Use your inner strength and your inner power to take advantage of a situation, to take charge, take action, and move towards um, continue, keeping that uh, solid, stable foundation. And stay grounded, stay practical but take action. You have to take action. Okay. And the high priestess is, um, is an energy of intuition power, uh, can also be an energy of secrets. So reveal what gives you that passionate drive to succeed and to move forward. Okay. And to keep that foundation and that might require going on a new adventure with the fool, trust each other, go on the new adventure together, trust that things will work out but also take those practical steps to move forward. All right. <clears throat> so your long-term outcome, we have the seven of swords. So I'm going to clarify it before I say too much. Clarify the seven of swords for me, please. Page of wands, three of swords, and the five of cups. So I think some of you, some of you might not be able to save the relationship, okay? Um, the Six of Swords uh, down here could have you moving away, all right? Um, if you can't get it together, some of you could be moving on, moving away. Um, There's a lack of, there's a lack of trust. Okay. The seven of swords can be a lack of trust. So I feel here that, that if action isn't taken, okay. And this is, and, and I'll point out here that this is not a major arcana in the long-term outcome. So, um, a lot of these energies can very easily be overcome. All right. Um, a year is a very long time. All right. These are just the energies that are coming out today. All right. So at any given point, um, anything can be turned around, but, um, the seven of swords energy is not necessarily the best energy for, um, for an outcome because it's, it's, it's like betrayal. Okay. There's a bit of betrayal there. So almost as though someone said they were going to do something and you tried to repair something and it's just, it's like, no, you know what? You didn't do what you said you, you were going to do. And now we need to walk away. We need to part ways. Um, but the seven of swords doesn't necessarily mean walking away. Okay. It just means that the trust is broken and that there's that deceit there and there's that deceptive kind of energy. But some of you with the five of cups, the five of cups is about grief. The three of swords is heartbreak. And the page of wands is starting something new. Okay. So I think some of you are absolutely doing that. Okay. By, you know, if, if nothing changes, okay, I hate to say it. All right. But it's there. Okay. So I think for others of you, um, if you're not walking away, okay, you can move, you could be moving on. Moving on um, and trying to repair, okay, but there is that 
there is that sense of mistrust there with the seven of swords. And like I said, it's not always a walking away energy. Um, but it's certainly one of, of betrayal and mistrust, but even though it might leave you sad and heartbroken and as though there's no way forward. All right. The five of cups, even though it's about grief, all right. And it's about focusing on what was lost. There is still opportunity there. Okay. There's still two cups standing. All right. So, you know, the relationship might be damaged. Okay. It might be damaged and there's certainly sadness and loss there, but there is still opportunity to take your relationship to a different level and to move forward, maybe on a different playing field. Okay. Um, and like I said, the seven of swords isn't necessarily walking away. Okay. But there is that mistrust there. Okay. And there is that need to rebuild and move forward. And again, like the page of wands is starting to move forward on a new adventure. Okay. Um, but it can also be, uh, starting together, but at a different level and not quite where you were previously. Okay. And you need to step forward together, but on a different playing field. Okay. So, um, interesting reading for you. Okay. And again, like I said, um, the energies you know, a year is a very long time. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of external influences here, right? The energies can overlap and this is the energies coming out today. All right. Doesn't mean that nothing can be changed because it absolutely can, because the majority of the energies that have come out for you are part of our day-to-day -day lives, right? So, um, it's very, um, with some insight, Okay, it's it's easy to course correct, much easier to course correct. And whenever you do that, you change some energies. Okay, so just like to say that. So I'm just going to close out your reading here with an angel answers card. Message for people watching, please. And we have if you believe. Okay, if you believe you can make it through, then you'll make it through. Okay. Believe in yourself, believe in your person, believe in your connection, believe in your relationship and believe that you can get past troubled times. Okay. It's actually a really nice message, right? So that is what I have for you guys. Um, I wish you all the best in 2021. Okay. And uh, like I said, don't forget you can, you, you are part of your own destiny here. Okay. And you can change, you can change things. All right. As they go along. And again, not everyone will walk away, right? Some of you will stay and persevere and learn something new. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Um, I do wish you all the absolute 2021 and I thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. And don't forget to check in, uh, every month. Um, cause I'll, I repeat these every single month as well. And again, the energies can change. Okay. All right. So I thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.